Hello everyone, this is Lola again from afropotlog.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very easy fish curry recipe. This recipe is a very rich and delicious delicacy. It has a very bold flavor which is as a result of the combination of the curry powder and the coconut milk. And it comes together in about 30 minutes or even less. So let's get started. I'm going to be using a little bit of ginger root, one bay leaf, some thyme, salt to taste, curry powder, canola oil or whichever oil you choose to use, about five cloves of garlic, two tomatoes, one very large onion, two scallions, one green pepper, one habanero pepper, coconut milk, a little bit of stock and fish and you can use any fish of your choice today I'm going to be using the salmon fish and this is the end product after I've diced all my vegetables so let's go ahead and put everything together the first thing I'm going to do is to preheat the oil inside my pan once the oil is hot I'm going to be adding the onions Then I'm going to be adding the minced ginger, the minced habanero pepper, thyme, and the bay leaf. Also, I'm going to be grating in the ginger. So I'm just going to be stir frying this until the onion becomes translucent. It's now time to add our curry powder and I'm going to be stirring this in as well. Then I'm going to be leaving it to cook for about three minutes or thereabouts. And it's also very important to stir this constantly at this point in order to prevent the curry from burning. The next thing I'm going to be adding is the diced tomatoes. And I'm going to be mixing this thoroughly together with the curry paste that is already cooking in my pot so that all these flavors can be well incorporated into each other. I'm going to cover this and I'll be leaving it to cook for about 3-4 to four minutes. At this point I'm going to be adding the coconut milk. I'll stir that in as well. Once you've properly stirred this, the next thing to do is just to cover it up and allow it to simmer for about 3 minutes so that the flavor of the coconut milk can get infused inside the stew. As you can see, the curry stew is coming together pretty well. I will now be adding the stock at this point. Fish stock or vegetable stock is good for this recipe. However, if you don't have that, feel free to use chicken stock or beef stock if you don't mind. It also works just as well. It's now time to add the salt and this is also a good time to adjust the seasoning if there's a need to. Once the seasoning of the stew has been adjusted to your taste, it's now time to add the fish. Now, the cooking time of your fish depends on the variety of fish you use and how big you cut your fish. Today I'm using salmon and for this size of fish, it should cook between 8 to 10 minutes. The fish is now done as you can see. So at this point, feel free to adjust the thickness of the stew the way you want it. If you want it lighter, you can add a little more water or stock. And if you want it a little thicker, just simmer it for a couple of more minutes. Finally, to round this up, I'm going to be adding the green peppers and the green onion. Carefully stir this together in order not to break the fish and leave it to simmer again for about two more minutes before taking it off the heat. This is best served when it's still very hot and you can serve this over a plate of white rice. Also, you can serve this with any flatbread of your choice. So that is it again for today. Thank you all for spending your time with me. The full ingredients for today's recipe can be found at afropotlock.com and the link to that is also in the description box below. Until next time, I'll talk to you shortly. 
Enjoy.